fourth day for my chicks. I'm searching all around at the bottom. And this is where I'm watching. I'm seeing them. And one more was there sitting on the top of that thermocol next to the ceiling. Just now they have come down. Come down and uh, the, the brooder has got forcibly opened up like this. So they have, they are having the strength to, see it was kept something like this with the lock. They have forced open it, opened it. Huh? So they have reached that position in search of the spiders. They have eaten sufficient enough inside the brooder though. Oh no, they are willing to explore other kind of delicious food. Hey, Mati Nebrele. Ha, here they are. Look at them, man. Look at them. Just now, these two fellows were sitting uh, there on the, uh, next to the ceiling. Tenth day. Imagine the growth rate of these uh, peahen chicks, wild birds. This is how they get the escape from the predators. Even though the predators are very, very much, uh, what to say, hunt down the adult birds themselves. So these are still vulnerable to the predators. As far as uh, my observation, uh, for the first time when I did identify the crying call of a peahen and uh, continuous crying, crying call, it was not at all stopping. And when I went there, I found one such one such bird. I mean to say, a ten about uh, average, ten day old kind of peahen chick found without. As ex expected, this putty came and sat on my hands. So what happened uh, was I found that bird without the head. Those days I was on Facebook or WhatsApp. I had posted that on to my friends on WhatsApp. Keeping that body, headless body on the borewell cap of my It was a very sad day. Terribly sad day. So I was there uh, right now about a minute ago. I was there attending my cattle and um, I wonder if it is proper or zoomed, over zoomed. Let me check. Yeah, it was over zoomed and it was not covering what, what exactly was supposed to get covered. One by one they are flying in right next to the place wherein I sleep. So one more, one more did fly. <laughs> One more did fly. Where the lens? Lens is towards this side. Rear end. Rear end. Flying all around. The place very nicely for God. You love me, baby. You preferred my sitting on me. So, these, were, these birds having the flying capability of this much are still vulnerable. To get caught by the predators. This is what I just wanted to show you. Okay. So turn the lens back again. Here they are. Two on my bed. One, uh, one is here, uh, trying to climb, climb me. Climb up to my shoulder. Other, other than this one. This one. Where is it now? The lens is at the rear. This one. The other one was also is also oh, trying to climb me. Climb up my clothes like this. I wonder if the lens is covering the pictures properly or not. I 
that's it. It's the tenth day. I hope now the pictures are proper because it's a front camera that I am shooting with. So it's the tenth day. See, these birds are flying all over the room, reaching the te the roof as well. The roof as well. As usual, I did her when I had it heard that beep, 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 melodious call. The third one also joined. That means that, mommy, where are you? Come back, come back, come back, come back. That is the call. They have eaten sufficient enough. They have uh, played sufficient enough and they want me only to go to sleep, to take a nap. That's it. That's the routine of these cute birds. That of mine. Tenth, tenth day. They are all, they all ready to fly into the sky though. And they may get shocked in the wild, obviously. 